Okay, everybody, welcome um, to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, um, I'm going to try to respond to a bunch of people who saw my last video about Studio One version 5. And I gave you my three cents in that video and showed you some of the features that I liked and then also showed you some of the issues I was having with a couple select plugins, which up until this point has kept me from even using Studio One version 5. I've had to go back to Studio One version 4.6. Um, over the last, since that video, people have asked me, has it gotten any better? Studio One PreSonus just released a new um, update for this and they asked me, did that fix my problem? And I wanna show that to you now. So right now we are running, I downloaded the update this morning and we are now running version 5.01, okay? Which was um, built on August 10th, 2020. I'll try to zoom in down here so you can see it in editing. Just so you know what computer I'm using, I am on a Mac um, and I am running Mojave. Um, this is a 2017 iMac Pro with 30, a th uh, six core processor, 64 gigs of RAM. This is the same computer I was running version 4.5, version 4.6, never had any issues. Prior to this, I was running a 2013 Mac Pro from version two all the way up to version four with never any of the issues that I've had with version five. So nothing has changed between version 4.6 and version five from my computer just so you're aware. So what I, I've created a song here. So here's the start page. And if I go over here, I imported some audio files. Um, and when I just import audio files in and of, of itself, it runs very snappy. No problem, everything plays back fine. It seems to be behaving fine. Now one of the plugins or the one of the virtual instruments I was having issues with with Superior Drummer 3, and I've loaded up a track of that here. We'll just solo this up and I'll open up the instrument. And what would happen would be, um, and what's happening with some of the other plugins is when I would try to grab the window and move it, it would like stagger and delay. And then it would cause the program to crash. Um, I'm happy to report at least for Superior Drummer 3, it seems to be working normal. There doesn't seem to be any lag like there was at first. So that seems to be working okay. Um, I uh, just dropped a groove in here just to, oops. Oh, we don't want to follow the host here. Hold on. Seems like the display, again, it's a little laggy to what's going on. Just a little bit. I mean, I could see that even the playhead doesn't r run really smooth the way it would be in other versions. And again, that could be the. But. But it seems to be working okay as far as the window's not lagging. There's no lag as I'm going through the different screens and working on that. So that at least just from doing this quick little test seems to be better. I'm gonna mute this here. Um, the, other the other plugin that was giving me a hard time, which is really the plugin um, that I use every single day in mixing, and that is um, Slate Trigger 2, which is the sample replacement program. I use this all the time. Um, I really can't live without this for the most part, so let's try that and see if that's any better. Slate Trigger 2, let me just save this in case it crashes. Um, I'll throw this on the kick track. Okay, so it loads up okay. But okay, same kind of issue. When I'm clicking and moving the window, there's a slight lag to it. When I click the browser button, again, everything is delayed a little bit. And that's not normal. Okay, even now I'm having a hard time even opening up. Okay, yeah, that was a big, that was probably 10, six, seven seconds. So something clearly with trigger two doesn't work properly. Just clicking on the buttons, trying to open the folders. Um, wow, that's really, uh, let's just see, click on that. So yeah, it really lags behind. Yeah, that, that, that's not normal behavior. Okay, now I'm dragging the window around, it seems okay. Let's just try to replace the kick drum just to see what happens if we can use it. Okay, come on. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, wow, that's really, really, really um, choppy, laggy, very much so. It's almost like you gotta click it twice to get it to work. Let me just drag this down here. 
Okay, let's go back to the triggering window and see how that works. We'll just solo up the kick drum here, but you can even see here, watch this, when I click See the meter down here on the kick drum? Look at the look at the output meter, the fader meter, when I hit that sample. The delay, okay? So there's a latency, some kind of delay. Now you may be saying, well, what is your buffer size set to, Dave? Okay, good question, but that really doesn't matter on this computer, at least never did in the past, but I'll show that to you anyway. I'm running it at 1024 samples, which should be no pro on this computer, no problem. I should be able to run that even down to 128 samples with no issue. At least in 4.6, I could. Okay, still, and again, this is the only plugin I'm using on the whole session, right? So that really should have no difference at all, but it doesn't seem to change the performance. Even the way Studio One performs, when I go up to the menu and choose the menus, it's it, it's not nice and snappy, and it, it feels like it lags. I don't know if I can, you can see that over YouTube, but even as I'm moving the cursor here, there is a slight delay here when I have trigger two on here. But if I were to take trigger two off, and let's just try it, let's just see. Can we play back some audio here? We'll solo up our kick drum. We'll make a little loop here. But even doing all of those commands, there's a little bit of a lag. Uh, let's just see. Okay, so I don't see any of the display at all in trigger. You can see the meters are very hesitant, very kind of choppy. Normally you would see the audio coming across the screen, right? That's not happening at all. Hit stop. Okay, now here, here it is. Talk about a delay. Wow. A, a long, 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 long latency. I've already hit the, the stop on the play. I already hit the space bar and stopped the audio and it's continuing. So this, this plugin clearly has something not behaving right. Let me remove that. Now, if I remove this, everything else seems to be normal. Let me just try another plugin. The other one that was giving me a hard time was Sonarworks, the room correction plugin that if I put this on my master bus, whoops, let me see if I can find it here. Here it is here. Let's just see. I'll turn it on here. Okay, that seems to be better. <clears throat> that was another one that was giving me a hard time in the before this update. So let me just see, I'll play back some audio here. Back in order, I know I'll always have this too. A bit of piece of you. Yeah, a little bit of a lag, not bad. I mean, this is, I'm using headphones. This is for when I'm using my monitors, but I just wanted to show that to you. So again, it, yeah, it seems like there's a little bit of a lag there. It just, see, now it's fine, but there's intermittent lagging going on. Again, I don't know why that is, but again, just so you know, and again, I'm not here to bash PreSonus. I'm just showing you because people have asked me, should I upgrade to version five? Well, you can upgrade to version five, right? If you want to, just make sure that you, you leave 4.6 installed or whatever version you have that's working fine before. And just please make sure that if you open up a session from an older version into Studio One Five, and then go to save it, it's gonna ask you, do you want, it's been, do you wanna save it in the new version? If you say yes, you will not be able to open up that session again in your older version. So as I showed you in the last video, you wanna make a copy of the session. So you always retain your old session. I haven't played with this extensively because I can't even get past this point um, because I need to use these plugins. Let's just try a couple of others. Um, so it doesn't appear that the new update has fixed my problem. Now I have reached out to Slate Digital and have told them about it. They say that they're aware of the problem. So again, it's with their development team. That was three weeks ago. I don't know what that means. It doesn't seem to be fixed. There has been no updates to trigger as far as I can tell at Slate Digital's website. I have not reached out to Sonarworks or anybody else. But let's, oh, the other one was Sound Toys. It would just crash the program. Let me save this. So Sound Toys, when I would load up the, when I would load up the plugin, let me just... Um, it would just crash the program. So let me try this. Let me just try point decapitator. Okay, that seems to be okay. And you can just tell by the way, when you move the window and how it refreshes, it seems to work okay. I think Devil Lock was the one that was crashing it. Devil Lock Deluxe, let me try that. Okay, that seems to be okay. And that seems to behave properly. Um, Radiator was the other one that was causing me an issue. Let me try radiator. 
Okay, that seems to work okay. And the window seems to move, it doesn't jitter, it doesn't lag, that seems to be okay. Uh, let me solo up our drums here and just, I just hit play and I don't hear any audio. Why is that? Uh, I have superior drummer on here, why don't I hear any audio? Okay, let me open this up. Did I do something screwy? I could have. <laughs> I could have. Uh, let's just see here. Let's uh, go back. Oh, follow the host. Maybe that's why. Sorry about this. Come on. What's going on here? With our playhead. Oh, do I have to go all the way back to the beginning of the song? So let me make this loop this this long. I know I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. Sorry, guys. Okay, this seems to be working okay. Great plugin, by the way. There'll be a review coming of this soon. Awesome, awesome plugin for a little bit of heat. But that seems to work okay. Okay, so the, the, the sound toys thing is not an issue. Let me try a couple of other uh, plugins that I use all the time just to see how that works, and then we'll end this video, and you could decide for yourself whether it's worth updating or upgrading or not. Um, I think the features are worth upgrading too. The thing that stinks for me is I spent 150 bucks on this thing, and I can't even really use it. Um, but hopefully they'll get it fixed. Um, or maybe it is the, just the trigger too, and that's it. But it seems to be more plugins than just... Uh, that again, sonar works. And again, never having these issues with any of these plugins in version, any of the older versions. So something is different in version five that's causing this problem. Where the hell's my slate digital folder? Here it is. Okay. So let me try putting some of the Vs, the virtual mix rack on these, and let's just see how this behaves. Can I load a bunch of plugins at once? Okay. That seems to work okay. Okay, the other thing I noticed too, before I got on, yeah, I could even see, but before I got on camera here, um, when I first loaded this up, I went to save it, and the first time it saved, um, it took like three minutes, literally, to save the session, which was really weird, which I, again, I can't seem to duplicate that here on camera, but that has uh, happened uh, before. <laughs> Okay, that seems to be fine. Let me just try a couple of tape machines and just to see. Can I have to do more testing? Well, actually, I'm not gonna do more testing because I can't use it if I can't use samples. That's just not gonna work for me. I know the reasons you well, let me just see what the uh, the performance monitor is suggesting. Yeah, 11%, that's about right for how many plugins I have. But see, even closing and opening up windows, it seems to hold up a little bit. Not really sure why that is. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all that video. People have asked me since the last video. Um, it seems to behave pretty well, but like I said, there are a couple of plugins, and for me, primarily Trigger, as I've said, is just causing it where I can't use it. Um, and again, even Superior Drummer um, seems to be okay for the most part, but does have times where it kind of feels a little, a little bit latency. Yeah, even... Right, seems okay there. <clears throat> but it doesn't seem consistent, nice and crisp and smooth the way it does in version 4.6. But at least Superior Drummer looks like it's usable now where it wasn't before this last update. Um, so I don't know, hopefully that's helpful for you. If people at PreSonus or happen to watch this, um, that's the experience I have. I have put in a ticket with PreSonus. They responded to me. Uh, very quickly, uh, 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 actually, was really great, great support, and they basically said it's not them, it's the plugins, it's the plugin, it's not their program. Okay, so I reached out to Slate, and we'll see. But until I can use Trigger, um, unless I have a session that I'm going to do where, um, where I absolutely am not going to use any samples, 
then maybe I'll try this. But until then, I'm not going to use this because I need to be able to use samples um, on my session. So that's it for here. The other thing to keep in mind as well, and the reason why I uninstalled this um, at one point, let me see if I'll save it here. At one point, I just want to show you this last thing quickly. You may already know this, but when you go to open up a Studio One file, if you have two versions of Studio One on your computer, um, it'll ask, it'll automatically open up with version five, the latest version, unless you right click, at least this is how it is on a Mac. See right here, it's automatically going to default to version five because that's the latest software. Um, that you want to make sure that you go down to the to the latest to the one that you want it to open with. So in other words, um, I will probably uninstall version five again because I don't want it to, you know, I don't want to forget open it up with the wrong version, save it and then have these problems. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind that it will not open with the version that it was created in. It will open it up with the default version, which is the newest version. At least that's how it is on a Mac. I'm not sure if there's a way to change that in a setting somewhere. Maybe you can leave some comments below and let me know. PC users might find something different. Um, but until then, I'm going to uninstall version five until they get it right. Um, and so, or until the plugin companies get it right, whatever, I just can't really use it. So until next video, this has been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Let me know if you're having any issues with Studio One version five, leave comments below. And if you have, have you reached out to PreSonus and or the plugin companies? Have you gotten any response? If we start a conversation and, and people that come along let others know about the issues that you may be having. It may get resolved faster. Not a way to bash any of the companies. Every time you release a new piece of software, there's bugs. Um, but try to get it fixed so other people, um, you know, can have a, have a better experience with the software. So leave comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.